Hi. Introduction to CMake, uh, part 7, binary trees on Mac OS X. I'm going to quickly show you uh, make files and Xcode and Qt Creator 1.3. So let's begin. This is my Mac machine and this is our source tree directory, which is basically the same one we had on Linux and Windows. So let's open my GUI this is our source tree path and we're gonna create a binary tree named make build make configure yes select the unix make file generator cool let's set the tilde type to be debug and the installed graphics to be the same as our binary directory or build directory configure generate cool now we are changing directory to the build directory and we're gonna make install Cool, done. Let's try to execute our executable. It is installed under bin. I'm gonna copy the dynamic library to be to this to the bin directory. It will be easy, easier to execute it that way. And voila! Great. The threat one is defined. Let's go through Xcode. So we're going back to the CMake GUI and we're gonna create a new binary tree named build Xcode. Configure. Yes. Select the Xcode generator. It takes a little bit longer, but that's okay. Cool. Note that we you don't have to specify the build type as the Xcode generator already support the four, uh, four CMake targets, the debug, release, and mini size. So, but we still want to change the install prefix. Click configure again and generate. Cool. Let's open Xcode. And we're going to open the demo export project file. As you can see, Xcode already uh, is aware about our uh, targets. Um, let's try to build and set a breakpoint. Build and go. Cool. 
cool. The red points are working and the output is def red one is defined as expected. If you're having problems um, setting up red points, it might be the version of CMake. Uh, the next version is supposed to take care of it, but just do the following. Go to Xcode, Preferences, Debugging, Symbol Loading Options, and uncheck Load Symbols Lazily. That's for Xcode. Let's quickly go through Qt uh, Creator. Now, Qt Creator does not need uh, the um, CMake GUI, have this functionality built in. So, we're just gonna select the root CMake list.txt in the source directory. Oops. Open file or project. Select the CMake list.txt. And voila. I'm just going to change that so it will be consistent with my name. Now we need to supply the um, CMake build type, which we want to be debug, and the install. Uh, prefix. So, as we are not using the CMA GUI, I uh, would need to provide it here for the arguments. And then run CMA. Cool. Now, you better not start debugging before the indexing and uh, scanning is complete uh, for the version 1.3 uh, until it will be officially released. Um, let's try to debug. Uh, debug. Cool. Yes, the threat one is defined. And our our debug our breakpoint is working as well. It's important to pay attention to the project uh, tab, so if you want to change build steps, like you want to do make install, just write under build step install. And if you want to execute your application with some arguments, this is the place to do it, under run setting arguments. Um, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and find it helpful.